you're a music snob, by the way? No? Because if you are a music snob, congratulations. Just congrats. You did it. You did it. You listen to all that music, and then you re-listen to it on vinyl. Now you know the difference. And you formed an opinion, and you wield that opinion like the flaming axe of truth. And you deserve to, because you're a god in the blogosphere. Way to go. And you know what? I think you deserve to get those texts of those secret shows where that experimental band is playing at whatever fucking automotive repair shop by day, BYOB music venue by night. And you deserve to get in for free and watch that half-assed performance with 10 other skinny, ironically tattooed, sexually amorphous peckerheads. <laughs> and yes, I think it's fair that you judge people you meet based solely on their musical taste. Wait, let me rephrase that last part. If you are that fuckface who judges people based on what kind of music they like, then I hope you sh shit yourself to death <laughs> on a busy street corner. Just shit yourself to death. And as that's happening, the lead singer of Nickelback walks by. <laughs> sees you shitting yourself writes a song about it, and it goes viral. It's the biggest song ever. Ringtones are made out of it. They make a Dawson's Creek 2, and that's the theme song. 